Hey, it's Miss Alana working on math, being awesome and amazing. And I know you are too. We are working on day three of our fall harvest math squash. Make sure you have your sheet. I have mine. And I don't have my glasses on. Ah, let me put it on real quick. Hmm. Bam, there we go. This is question number three. Let's take a look. Read it with me. It says you are buying two pounds of spaghetti squash. That costs $2.54 for each pound. How much change should you receive if you give the cashier a $10 bill? What? We're at the store. We're at the grocery store. Farmer's market buying some spaghetti squash. Let's use our cubes clues. Cubes clues to solve the problem. First step is that C step. It says to circle the numbers. What numbers do you see? I see the number two. What else do you see? Right there, $2.54. What else do you see? I see one more number. It is in word form. It's a number name. Do you see it? It's right there. 10, right there. Yep, that's all of it. Go ahead and check off that step. The next step in our cubes clues is the use step to underline important words. Find some important words for me. Huh. We can start with the unit. Okay, let's start with that unit. Two what? Two pounds. What else do you see? Well, that one has the unit already right there, dollars. And what else do you see? Right here, ten dollar bill. Now, there's an important phrase that goes with this $2.54. It's what? For each pound. So each means what? That means for every one pound. So I'm going to put a one right there for every one pound. What else do you see? Spaghetti squash. That is a spaghetti squash. Have you seen that before? Oh, it's so weird. When you cook it, it actually looks like spaghetti. Have you had that before? Huh? You should try that. I tried making that one time. It was pretty cool that it looked like spaghetti. So try making that one day. Well, with some adult help, of course. Get some adult supervision with that. What else do you see? Let's see. Okay, cost. We can underline cost. You can underline how much, how much change. What else do you see? Okay, we can underline receive. Okay, if you underline cashew, that's fine too. If there's anything else that you found that's important to you or to help you solve that problem, go ahead and underline those too. We're done with that step. Check that step off. The next step is to B, box the question. Box the question, highlight the question, do something with that question, circle it, square it, whatever. Where's the question? Bam, right there. How much change should you receive if you give the cashier a $10 bill. Done with that step. Check that off. The next step is the E step to eliminate unnecessary information. Did you know sometimes math problems, they try to trick you? What? People, even people try to trick you. What? Even life sometimes tries to trick you. But guess what? You're smarter than all that. You better be like, yes, I am smarter than any type of problem or trick that comes my way. Better believe it. Look at this problem. Is there anything trying to trick you? Well, yes, it looks like there's a lot of information there and it looks kind of tricky. Is there anything we need to eliminate or take off? No, we need all that information. And we are going to break it down in the last step, the S step, the solve and check. So let's think about it. Imagine in your mind, you are buying two pounds of spaghetti squash. So that doesn't mean two pieces of spaghetti squash because they all weigh different amounts, okay? They have different weights. So imagine you're buying two pounds of those. Now, usually when you go to the store, they have the sale price listed by pound. So that means for one pound, and that says it right there, for each pound, for one pound. Sometimes you buy less, which means you pay less than that. Sometimes you buy more than that one pound, so you would pay more. Obviously, it's not that same price. The more you get, the more you pay, the less you get, the less you pay. So in this problem, it says you're buying two pounds, and each pound is $2.54. What? You know what kind of... This is a multi-step problem. It has more than one step. I'll give you a clue. It actually has two steps. So we'll start off with the first step. 
can't do the second step without the first step. So let's start there. First, let's calculate and figure out how much two pounds of that spaghetti squash would cost. So one pound is $2.54. How would I figure out how much two pounds are? And that's the abbreviation, $2.54 per pound. We need to either add that twice or multiply it by two. So let's write that down, $2.54 plus $2.54. Or what was the other way? We can multiply. Now raise your hand if you are awesome and amazing. Yes. Guess what? If you're awesome and amazing, you could do both ways. It's so easy. Let's work that out together. Oh my goodness, we got a visitor. Is she going to be shy today to come? Oh, yes, she's being shy. She's being shy. I'm not even going to say who it is. You Maybe ask me tomorrow. I'll tell you who's being shy at the door. Trying to be a creeper on the video. They better come on in on this video. All right, let's work it out. Four plus, oh. They're being shy. Oh, she said she'll be back. Maybe she'll be back because she wants to be in the next video. Oh, that's a clue. It's a she. It's a she. All right, four plus four is... Eight, five plus five is 10, write the zero plus the one up top. And what does that decimal do? Decimals, when you add and subtract, they're always ready to party. They don't hang out, they're just ready to party. Bring it down, bam, right there. And we do two and two is four plus one is five, or I could do one and two makes three plus two is five. Either way, bring down that dollar sign, bam. Now, we can check with a calculator, but guess what? If we check doing the other way, that's like we're checking our work oh, and being awesome all at the same time. Let's do that. Two times four is eight. Two times five is 10. Write the zero plus one up top. Now, decimals, when we multiply, they hang out. They're coming to the party later. So leave it up top. Two times two is... Four plus that one is five. Now, time for the decimal to come to the party. When we multiply, what do we do? Count it over. Bloop, bloop, one, two. Bloop, bloop, one, two. And where does it go? Bam, right there with your dollar sign. And yeah, we got the same answer both ways, so we know we are right. But we're not done because remember, this is a multi-step problem. That means it has more than one step. This one has two steps. The next part of the problem is to figure out how much change we should receive. So if you're going to the store and you're buying two pounds of this and it's $5.08 and you give the cashier $10, that cashier better give you some money back. If not, hmm, they're not doing their job right. And you'll be like, oh, person might need to get fired and you can take that job one day when you're old enough because you know how to do math. Yes, that's right, because you're smarter. So, you're so smart. You're so smart. So now how do we figure out? Let's help the cashier out. Cashier, excuse me, cashier, let me tell you how you can figure out how much change you should give me. Oh, no, don't put it in the machine. Use your mind because, remember, your mind is so much smarter than any machine in the world. That's right. We need to subtract. Subtract from what? From $10. So let me do that down here. $10. And remember, decimal zero, zero minus $5.08. Bam, right there. And we need to do what? We need to line up the decimals. Zero take away eight. Can't do that. The zeros, they hang out too much. They have nothing left. Borrow. No, I don't have anything. I don't have anything. Bam. We always have that one. That one always has some money. Cross that out. That becomes a zero. This zero becomes a 10, which becomes a nine. Then that zero becomes a 10, which now becomes a nine, because that one has to borrow. That becomes a 10. 10 minus 8 is 2. 9 minus 0 is 9. Bring down that decimal. Bam. 9 minus 5 is 4. Up oh, 0. Dollar sign. Now, you know we're so awesome, amazing, and amazing that we don't need a calculator to check our work. We will do the inverse operation, the opposite operation. What is the opposite of subtracting? 
Yes, that's right, adding. So now we need to add what? That $5.08 plus $4.08. And Plus one up top, and yes, you know decimals when we add and subtract, always ready to party. Come on down, decimal. Bam, right there. One and five makes six, plus four is ten. Or you can do five and four is nine, plus one is ten. Or you can do five and four is nine plus one. Oh, no, I could do one and four. I, I just said that. One and four is five, plus five is ten. And bam, guess what? Look. Look right there. Ten dollars, ten dollars. We... I told you we're so smart. We didn't even need a calculator. Last thing to do is write our solution. Write the answer down. How much change should you receive if you give if you give the cashier a ten dollar bill? I what should receive? R e c e i v e. How much? Four dollars. Right here, this one. Four dollars and ninety two cents in change. Bam! We are done with that one. Don't forget, write your answer down right there. Put your work and the solution in those boxes. We're done with this one. We are going so well, doing so well, moving along so fast. Don't forget to subscribe to Miss Alana's YouTube channel and click the thumbs up button below. Like this video. And if you want to say hi, Miss Alana, or if you have a question, go ahead and put them in the comments below. See you then.